The Olympic Games, a spectacle of athleticism and international camaraderie, have a rich history that spans millennia. They trace their roots back to ancient Greece. Held in Olympia, a sanctuary site in the Western Peloponnese, these games were a cornerstone of Greek culture. These games were more than just athletic competitions. They were a religious and cultural festival honoring Zeus, the king of the gods. The entire event was steeped in rituals and traditions that reflected the values and beliefs of ancient Greek society. The first recorded Olympic Games took place in 776 BC, marking the beginning of a tradition that would continue for over a millennium. This inaugural event set the stage for what would become a symbol of unity and excellence. These early games were a far cry from the multi-sport extravaganzas of the modern era. Only one event, a foot race called the Stadion, was contested. This race was a test of speed and endurance, capturing the essence of athletic prowess. The winner, Coribus of Elis, a cook by profession, earned a simple olive wreath and a place in history as the first Olympic champion. This humble prize symbolized honor and glory, far beyond material wealth. As the games gained prominence, new events were gradually introduced. Boxing, wrestling, chariot racing, and other physically demanding sports became part of the competition. The pentathlon, a test of five different athletic skills, became a staple of the ancient Olympics. This event showcased the versatility and all-around abilities of the athletes. The games were held every four years, a period known as an Olympiad. This regular interval created a rhythm in Greek life, much like our calendar system today. This four-year cycle served as a common point of reference for the ancient Greeks, much like our calendar system today. It was a time eagerly anticipated by athletes and spectators alike. The Olympiad marked a time of truce throughout Greece. This period of peace was essential for the safe travel and participation of athletes from various city-states. City-states locked in conflict would lay down their arms and allow their athletes and citizens safe passage to Olympia. This truce was a remarkable demonstration of the unifying power of the Games. This sacred truce, known as the Echechiria, underscored the unifying power of the Games. It was a time when differences were set aside in the spirit of competition and mutual respect. The ancient Olympic Games were more than just a display of physical prowess. They were deeply intertwined with Greek culture and religion, embodying ideals of excellence, honor, and fair play. Victors were hailed as heroes, their achievements celebrated in poetry and song. Their victories brought glory not only to themselves, but also to their city-states. The games attracted athletes from all corners of the Greek world, from the shores of Asia Minor to the colonies of Sicily and southern Italy. These athletes competed not for material rewards, but for the honor of victory and the chance to etch their names in the annals of history. The olive wreath, a simple crown of wild olive leaves, was the only prize awarded to Olympic champions. Yet this humble prize held immense value, symbolizing the pinnacle of athletic achievement. The games were a testament to the Greek belief in the well-rounded individual, one who possessed both physical strength and mental acuity. Athletes were expected to be models of virtue, embodying the ideals of arete, excellence, aidos, modesty, and sophosign, self-control. The games provided a platform for these values to be showcased, inspiring generations of Greeks. The glory of the ancient Olympic Games was not to last. What began as a celebration of human excellence and divine favor would eventually face a slow and inevitable decline. As the Roman Empire expanded its influence over Greece, the games gradually lost their religious and cultural significance. The sacred traditions that once defined the Olympics began to erode under Roman rule. The Romans, more interested in gladiatorial combat and chariot races, viewed the Greek emphasis on athletic competition with a degree of disdain. Their own spectacles were more about blood and spectacle than the pursuit of excellence. They saw the games as a spectacle to be exploited rather than a sacred tradition to be honored. The essence of the Olympics was overshadowed by the grandeur and brutality of Roman entertainment. The decline of the games was gradual but inexorable. Over time, the infrastructure of the games began to crumble. 
mirroring the fading spirit of the event itself. The quality of the athletes waned and the spirit of the games was tarnished by cheating and corruption. What was once a noble pursuit became marred by dishonesty and moral decay. Roman emperors, eager to flaunt their wealth and power, interfered in the games, influencing results and even proclaiming themselves as victors. Their involvement further degraded the integrity of the competition. The once sacred truce was often disregarded, as conflicts between city-states spilled over into the Olympic arena. The spirit of unity and peace that the games once symbolized was lost amidst the chaos. In 393 AD, after more than 1,000 years, the Olympic Games were officially abolished by the Roman Emperor Theodosius I. This marked the end of an era that had spanned over a millennium. Theodosius, a devout Christian, viewed the Games as a pagan festival and sought to suppress all vestiges of Greece's polytheistic past. His decree was a final blow to the ancient tradition. The once vibrant sanctuary of Olympia fell into disrepair, its temples and stadiums crumbling into ruin. Nature began to reclaim the site, erasing the physical remnants of the games. The Olympic spirit, however, lay dormant, waiting for a time to be rekindled. Though the physical structures decayed, the ideals of the games endured, ready to inspire future generations. Section four. A New Dawn, Kubatan's Vision. For centuries, the Olympic Games lay forgotten, buried beneath the ruins of Olympia and the passage of time. It was not until the 19th century that the idea of reviving this ancient tradition began to take shape. The driving force behind this revival was a young French aristocrat named Pierre de Coubertin. Coubertin, a visionary educator and historian, believed that sport had the power to unite nations and promote peace. He was inspired by the ideals of the ancient Olympics, the spirit of competition, fair play, and international understanding. Coubertin traveled extensively, promoting his vision of a revived Olympic Games. He faced skepticism and resistance, but his unwavering belief in the power of sport gradually won over supporters. In 1894, Coubertin organized the International Congress on Amateurism in Sport in Paris. Representatives from 12 nations attended this historic gathering. The Congress unanimously approved Coubertin's proposal to revive the Olympic Games. The International Olympic Committee, the governing body of the modern Olympic Games, was founded at this Congress with Demetrius Vikolas of Greece as its first president. Section 5, First Steps. The Athens Games of 1896 marked a significant milestone in the history of sports. The first modern Olympic Games were held in Athens, Greece in 1896, a fitting tribute to the birthplace of the ancient Games. This event was a revival of the ancient tradition, bringing together athletes from around the world. The Games were held from April 6 to 15, 1896, spanning 10 days of intense competition and celebration. Over 240 athletes from 14 nations participated in this inaugural event, competing in 43 events across nine sports. These athletes came from diverse backgrounds, each bringing their unique skills and determination. The Panathenaic Stadium, an ancient marble stadium that had been meticulously restored for the occasion, served as the main venue. Its grandeur added to the historic significance of the Games. The opening ceremony of the 1896 Games was a moment of great symbolism and pride for Greece. King George I of Greece officially opened the Games, marking the return of the Olympics after a hiatus of over 1500 years. His presence underscored the importance of this event. The Games were a resounding success, capturing the imagination of the world and setting a precedent for future Olympics. The athletes, many of whom were unknown amateurs, competed with a passion and sportsmanship that embodied the spirit of the Games. Their dedication and effort were truly inspiring. The 1896 Games were not without their challenges. The facilities were basic and the organization was sometimes chaotic, reflecting the nascent stage of the modern Olympics. 
The facilities were basic and the organization was sometimes chaotic. Despite these hurdles, the event managed to proceed smoothly, thanks to the collective effort of the organizers and participants. However, these shortcomings were overshadowed by the spirit of international camaraderie and the sense that a new era in athletic competition had begun. The friendships and bonds formed during these games laid the foundation for future international cooperation. The success of the Athens Games paved the way for the Olympics to become the premier sporting event in the world. This historic event marked the beginning of a tradition that continues to unite the world through sports. Section 6. Overcoming Obstacles, the Games Endure. The early years of the modern Olympic Games were marked by both triumphs and challenges. The Games faced numerous obstacles, including financial difficulties, political turmoil and two world wars. Despite these setbacks, the Olympic spirit endured, demonstrating the Games' remarkable resilience and adaptability. The 1900 Paris Games and the 1904 St. Louis Games were both overshadowed by larger world's fairs held in those cities. The Games struggled to attract international attention and were plagued by organisational problems. However, the Games gradually gained momentum, with each subsequent edition showcasing improvements in organisation and athletic performance. The outbreak of World War I in 1914 forced the cancellation of the 1916 Berlin Games. The Games resumed in 1920 in Antwerp, Belgium, a city that had been ravaged by the war. The Antwerp Games were a poignant reminder of the human cost of conflict and the importance of international cooperation. The Games continued to evolve, with the introduction of winter sports in 1924 and the first Winter Olympics held in Chamonix, France that same year. <laughs>